I read a phrase once in a personal development book that has really stuck with me. It posed the question, are you a human being or a human doing? Western society seems to glorify gain and accumulation. The more you have, the wealthier you are. The more you do, the more accomplished you are. It's a lie we've fallen prey to. It's a deep abyss, a trap in which once you've fallen in, the harder and harder it is to climb and pull yourself back out. We spend the majority of our lives striving. And this makes sense because the universe is ever expanding. And so if we are inherently connected to this universe, then we are also ever expanding. But what if we've gotten the ratio wrong between the amount of doing and the amount of being? I heard another phrase recently from best-selling author Maria Semple, and she said she believes that attention span is the new currency. In a world with technology and cell phones and social media, truly being connected 24-7, I have observed that we are the most disconnected we've ever been. There are so many things vying for our attention, and a lot of these things fall into the doing category. Even if it's Netflix and chill, or scrolling social media, or shopping online, these may feel like relaxing, mindless activities, but they still belong to the doing category. I've now come to understand my struggle with providing content for this YouTube channel. Because in my mind, whenever I go to YouTube, I'm learning how to do something, not how to be something. In the past, my days were filled with doing, with a to-do list a mile high and a desire to knock everything out, even at the expense of my health, so that I could wear this imaginary badge of productivity and accomplishment. But now, now my days consist of more being than doing, whether that's swinging in the hammock and looking up at the sky, watching the clouds go by, or sitting on my back patio with the sun shining on my face and meditating, or going for a walk in nature without my phone or camera. It dawned on me that perhaps we don't know how to be, we only know how to do. When was the last time you took a day off to not do anything? When was the last time you took a walk or a run just to be in nature without some tracking device counting your steps or someone yelling in your ear to run faster, to do more, to be better? When was the last time you sat down with a friend or family member sans technology, looked into their eyes and had a real, raw, honest conversation? Have you ever held the space to just be? What is the point in doing all of this if you never actually take the time to be in that success and accomplishment, to revel in it, to be wholly consumed by it? The way I look at it, our lives are a collection of moments, a series of snapshots in time. At the end of this life, what are you going to remember? Are you going to remember those extra hours you put in at the office to get that report done? Or the pressure you put on yourself to win at life with each task you were able to mark off and each ladder rung you were able to climb? Or what about the hundreds of hours you spent behind a screen when you have a real life 3D projection of something better than that screen just waiting outside your door. Sure, I remember those things, but they don't actually mean anything to me. They don't hold any weight. And yet that's what we're defining our lives by. We know deep down that it's the little things we're going to remember, but perhaps we're just ignorant or not wanting to face the music. Those little things, the times we laughed so hard we couldn't catch our breath, the times we were held and supported when the mountain felt too treacherous to climb. The times we gave ourselves grace because we are, in fact, human. So my question to you is, have you experienced enough little 
things. What will your collection of snapshots look like? Will they consist of rushing towards some invisible finish line? Or fully embracing the only thing in this life that is guaranteed right now. <laughs>